Each year, tax season comes and goes, and with that, scams. One you might not have heard of before involves crooks filling out your tax returns with your information, altering it just a bit, and then telling the IRS where instead to send the payments. I have a new wife. My wife has a new wife. <laughs> Joe tells KATU in Portland he was shocked to see a big check arrive in his mailbox, one for more than $9,000. I've had to pay in for the last 10 years, and all of a sudden I get a $9,000 refund? Bang. But Joe knew better. The crooks used his name and address and social security number and made up some family information, all to get that $9,000 check because they knew anything under $10,000 would not raise any special interest at the IRS. But the scammers made one big mistake. They messed up the bank account numbers. So the IRS mailed it to Joe, whose address they had on the return, rather than mailing it to the address the crooks gave. Now, had the crooks been successful, Joe would have never received that big check or found out the scammers did the same thing to his wife. This stuff can happen to anybody. So just how the scammers get away with almost ripping off Joe and his wife? Well, the two had provided their church with social security numbers all to become volunteers. A data breach at the church ultimately provided the crooks with all the information they needed. The good news is Joe caught the fraud early. Bad news, he has to fill out paper tax forms now with all kinds of affidavits. He has to have a theft monitor and on and on just so the thieves won't rip him off again.